This video is all about this thing right here. Your GTA 5 Online Auto Shop. It's going to be a fast, quick, easy guide showing you everything you need to know about this business. Three different ways to make money with the auto shop and how much money you're going to make with each of those individual three different ways. Absolutely everything is going to be in this video, ladies and gentlemen. So first of all, let's jump into the auto shop and where should you buy it? So if you go in your phone, go to foreclosure bank, enter site. Now, if I go here to auto shops, I can show you. But you, if you are if you don't know anything about auto shops and you don't own one yet, you're going to be like, it's not showing up for me. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your Los Santos car meet. So if you go on your map, it's right down here. You're going to want to head here first. Once you've done like the setup for the Los Santos car meet, the Los Santos tuners, you'll be given the opportunity to purchase an auto shop yourself. Once you've done that, like I say, you're going to go into May's Bank, go on auto shops. Now, these are the five locations. Like a lot of businesses, there is none up north. These are all going to be right down here in the city. And luckily for you, while you're watching this video, they are currently on sale. So you're probably thinking, okay, which one should I buy? Now, the most expensive, which most people think is the best, is going to be this one right here, La Mesa or La Mesa. Now, the reason this is the most expensive is because it is fairly close to the Los Santos car meet. It's also got a lot of quick access to like the freeways and motorways and things like that. But in all honesty, I don't know why this one's the most expensive. My favorite is the one that I own, which is this one right here, Burton. Now, the reason I own this one and absolutely love it is even, you can see even from the picture right here, this big parking lot. If we head on outside of my beautiful uh, auto shop right here, you can see this is where it is. The location is fantastic. A lot of my businesses are around here and it's the beautiful area. This is literally the Beverly Hills of GTA. And I have this massive parking lot. So if I want to fly a helicopter in here to do missions and things, which I do do, which I'll show you in a minute, it's just perfect. And if you come in and you have no room in your garage, you can just park your car right here. This is my favorite. Do what you want with that information. But this one, Burton, is my favorite. Now, like I say, this week when you're watching this, they are currently on sale. So, and the renovations and upgrades are also on sale. So if we go to renovations real quick, the first three things, it's all cosmetic. You can do whatever you want, but I have this one because it's just very simple. I actually really do like this. Maybe we'll test it out so I can show you guys what it looks like, but we'll get to that in a second. But it is all cosmetic. Tint, again, this is just going to be the color of your metal that's in here. Emblem, I have this emblem. It just looks cool. But again, they're all cosmetic. Now, here's the part that some people are going to be on the fence about. Staff, extras, and membership. So to clear this up for you, the membership is the LS Car Meet membership. You typically already buy that when you go to the LS Car Meet, but you can purchase it here if you haven't done it that way. It's 50000 You're going to need that. Extras, now that's going to be for your living quarters and for like a car lift. And staff, this is the one people recommend not getting. And honestly, you don't need it. I wouldn't do it, but I have done it. So that kind of ruins the point I'm trying to make here. Uh, or you can get staff. So for me, I'm going to cancel out of this because I've already upgraded mine. So that's the location I would get. So as far as the staff is concerned, you can see this person right here. We have two staff in mine. Uh, you definitely don't need it. But basically what that does is we'll get to this is when you're delivering these vehicles, which again, we'll get to here in a second, you can assign them to deliver them instead of you doing it yourself. But it's not really worth it. And then as far as extras, like I say, you can come up here. You have your own little office right here. And then right next to it, you have your own little bedroom. So you just have a place that you can spawn in, essentially, which is always a good thing. All right, so that's the first thing, the location and what to upgrade. Now, let's move on. I feel like first we should address the elephant in the room, which is obviously the garage here and being able to customize your vehicles. So as you can see here, the ones on my right, these are videos of vehicles, I should say, that I still haven't customized. I've purchased these and they're literally waiting here to be customized. On the left right here uh, are some of my vehicles that I have customized and they're just waiting for a home, probably at my CEO office garage or somewhere else. But the good thing about owning as one of these auto shops for yourself, let me show you for an example, just so you can see what it looks like. But when you get into your vehicle, you can say modify vehicle. That's going to put you into your beautiful auto shop. Well, this is what mine looks like. If you do it differently, it'll look differently. Um, but the good thing about this auto shop is if you are a lower level player, there is no level cap on your things you can upgrade. So you'll know what I'm talking about if you're a new player and you're like, okay, I want to do this to my car, this to my car, this to my car. And it'll say locked. You need to level up to like, I don't know, level 50 or level 120. 
Uh, if you own the auto shop, there's so many things that you can do to your vehicles that you can't do if you go to Los Santos Customs. Just FYI. All right. So another thing I thought, you know what? I'll show you guys for, for research purposes, right? So this is my auto shop. Some people could think it's pretty boring. I actually like the gray minimalistic with the purple. I think it looks good. But some people may not like that. So let me show you in case you're considering purchasing it yourself because it is expensive. So I'll show you what it looks like so you don't have to. I will indeed waste my money. So this is the only other one I would get. I think it looks kind of cool. So it's 270k instead of 450 because it's currently on sale. So I'm just going to purchase it. 270k. All right. Complete. Now let's have a little look what it looks like. So this is the new and improved version. So it's still got the purple. Um, do I like this or do I prefer the way I had it? I mean, it is kind of cool. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you prefer this look or do you prefer that gray look that I had beforehand? I'll keep it like this for now, but whatever you guys prefer, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll stick with. I mean, this does make it look a little bit more fun. You know what I mean? So anyway, we'll keep it for this for now. But if you were interested in doing it, this is what it looks like. Okay, so now that we've talked about the garage in your storage right here and being able to upgrade your vehicles without level caps and stuff like that, now let's move on to the three different ways to make money with the auto shop. The first one is going to be right here. It is customer cars. Now, you're going to get a phone call every single time a customer or a new customer car comes in. And essentially what you're going to do is a customer is going to say, I want you to upgrade this. You're going to upgrade it exactly as they want it. Then you're going to deliver it to them and you're going to get paid. Now, this comes in or this is where your extra staff come in because you can have them deliver it instead of you doing it and they'll get paid but you'll get paid less money because most of the time they will damage the vehicle. So you'll get less money. But don't worry, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that and how much you make here in a second. The next way to make money is the exotic exports. Now, if we run upstairs here real quick. Okay, this looks kind of nice. I I'm liking this new upgrade. It is kind of cool. Uh, exotic export list right here. Now, the exotic exports, again, you're going to find these around the map. Most of the time, you'll find a little blue marker and you can just pick it up take it down to the dock and you'll get paid. Again, I'll be showcasing this in a second and showing you how much you can get paid. But this is the second way you can make money with the auto shop. The third way is going to be right over here, which is the auto shop contracts. Now, these contracts, they're all quite fun. The one that I would personally recommend is the one that's at the top of the list right there, which is the union depository contract. Now, typically you get 300,000 for this once completed and it takes about 25 minutes to complete and then there's a cool down for an hour, but then it takes again 25 minutes to complete. So typically you get 300. During double pay, which is what we're currently in, you get 600. And the majority of the time, the last three times this business has been double money or had any sort of bonuses, it's typically three times. So usually you get 900,000. I'm not sure why they went 600,000 this time around. So those are the three different ways to make money. Exotic exports, the contracts, and your customer deliveries. So how much money are we talking here? How much money can you make from these three different ways of making money with your auto shop? So let's show you. So first things first, like I say with your deliveries, it says modify customer's vehicle. So if we go to modify, it's going to tell us what they want. So first it says service the customer's vehicle. So you can hit service. And then it says respray the vehicle. So you go to respray and it's going to tell you they want bleached brown. It's going to be different every single time. So there we have bleached brown. Install performance upgrades. Let's go ahead and do that. And then it tells you what they want. Requested upgrades. So it says it wants sport brakes. Okay. Race transmission. Let's do that. And then it says it wants an engine tune at just level one. So let's do that. And there you have it. Now it says install bodywork. So bodywork complete, then onto wheels. And then once you've done all of them, you just confirm. Now, this is the part that some people get confused by. If you read underneath confirm, it says confirm the service costs of 50,000. So that's how much it costs to do all of this stuff to the vehicle. Then it says the customer will reimburse this cost and you will receive an additional payment of up to 60,000 upon delivery. Now that depends if it comes, if you deliver it in good quality. As long as you don't ding it, crash it, anything like that, you'll get 60. Every time you crash it or dint it, you'll get paid less money. This is why when you have your employees do it, that you're just going to get less money. So confirm cost. Are you sure you want to modify this vehicle for 50,000? Yes. So now you'll see we've lost 50,000. Now you can choose to do it yourself or have the staff deliver it. If the staff deliver it, It'll take about 10 minutes, but it's also going to get there damaged. 
But this video is all about how much money you're going to make with these businesses. So let's go ahead and just do it ourselves. All right, so I've got the vehicle. I'm just going to drive it straight over there, and I'll come back to you as soon as uh, we get there. All right, here we are coming up to the location and delivered. There we have it. Just like that, vehicle delivered. So let's see how much money we made from that. That literally took us a couple minutes. So you can see payment for delivery, 60000 Service cost, 50000 So we got 110000 But that's just, you got to keep in mind, that 50000 is them just paying us back. So we didn't actually get 110 k they just paid us back the 50 that they owed us. So we got paid 60,000 for that. And that's with double money. Typically, you'd get 30,000. Once you've delivered the vehicle, you can just either drive back or you can go into online, find a vehicle, invite only session. And as long as your spawn point is your auto shop, it'll just take you straight back there. Once you're back in your auto shop, you can see that vehicle is no longer there, but we do have another one. So let's go ahead and do this one. All right, so here's the next one completely finished. You can see this one costs 20000 but the payment is 40000 if delivered in excellent condition. So we should get for this one 60000 but then deduct the 20000 since that doesn't make any sense. So 40000 should be how much we get for this one. So let's go ahead and select and then deliver vehicle. They actually did a good job on this one. Look at this thing. This thing looks sick. All right, and here we are on our last delivery here. And this one should be 40000 profit. There we go. She got the car. Loves it. I love it too. I think you did a great job on that one, if I do say so myself. All right, there you go. 60,000. So that's 40,000 is what we got paid profit. The 20,000 they just gave back to... It's stupid. I don't know why they do it like that. But 40,000. That's how much we got for that one. So that's $100,000 for literally no work whatsoever. But that is, keep in mind, that is double money this week. So typically, that would be $50,000. And we do have a cooldown. You're going to have to wait like one in-game day. So essentially, let's get back to our auto shop and I'll explain it. So essentially, the way this works is it's just like, you know, the bunker every 48 minutes, which is every in-game day, you can take the extra weapons supplies that you have. You can take it to an ammunition and you get paid 50,000. So every 48 minutes, you get 50,000 for the bunker. Just like the nightclub, every 48 minutes, you get 50,000. Just like your CEO office, every 48 minutes, you can do like a mission and give you 50 thousand most businesses you have they have some sort of thing that'll give you like a little bit of money every hour this is just the um the auto shops version of that essentially so every 48 minutes every in-game day you'll get some vehicles that you just need to deliver and you'll get like fifty thousand. but this week since it is double money you're gonna get a hundred thousand for that all right let's move on to our second way to make money which was exotic exports which where's the bloody list gone all right, I'm not going to lie. I'm very confused as to where this thing's gone. I literally just locked out and logged back in. But luckily for me, I wasn't going to do it anyway, but I was going to explain to you how it works. And again, luckily for me, I actually did a video on this not too long ago. I did all of the exotic exports during two times pay just to see what happened. So luckily for me, I can show you exactly how that works right now. So keep in mind before this starts, I was actually going to link this video, but it's actually older than this channel. I actually made this on a different channel like a year ago. Um, so I do... <laughs> So it's older. There is some face cam on it as well. And also, I do mention the Cerberus a lot. But if you guys remember last year during Halloween, they had an event going on where the Cerberus could chase you down. So I do mention that a lot, thinking I'm going to be chased by it. And I wasn't. But anyway, this video you're about to watch is a video within a video. This is how the exotic exports work. This was also two times pay. So it'll be exactly the same as it is currently. And this is just me explaining how I set up so I could be able to do the exotic exports and how it went. So enjoy. So first of all, we have to buy an auto shop and to do that we had to go to an underground place that had cool cars and then with me with my pumpkin head talk to some people and then i decided finally to buy one at burton and it was 1.8 million and i'm mad that it wasn't on sale which it 100 should have been because this is what this week's thing was all about you should have put the bloody auto shop on sale too you idiots then i met two really horny people that came to the auto shop and i ended up hitting my spanner on the wall until they looked at me and before we could even get started on our exports, we had to do a heist. And as you can see by the look on my face, it was absolutely exhilarating. Then we completed the mission. And again, absolutely exhilarating stuff. Here's me reacting to the end of the mission. FBI's there, chilling. Or FIB. Absolutely fantastic. So after all that, ladies and gentlemen, it was finally time. Finally time for me to go looking for cars. And after about 20 minutes, I finally, finally found my first one. And I was very excited. And I thought to myself, okay, 
These are like custom cars. Surely we're going to get paid quite a bit for these, right? Because I have a vehicle warehouse, and if you source like the high-end cars in that warehouse, you get a hundred grand, and they already tell you where they are. So surely, if you have to spend forever looking for it by yourself, you're going to be able to make tons of money, right? It's got to be worth way more than when they tell you how to find the car, surely. And then I was also thinking, okay, what about the Cerberus? Is the Cerberus going to chase us? That's going to be a lot of fun. It didn't, but it was only our first one. And I was like, okay, surely we'll get the Cerberus here eventually. So how much money are we going to get? I was so excited to figure this out. And there we go. We got 40,000 and that's double. So that means 20,000 is normal, which is absolutely ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. But we did it again anyway, this time with a blue car. Maybe this will give us more money. Nope, spoiler, it doesn't. But maybe I thought the service was going to chase us. It didn't. But anyway, we sold it, and we only got 40k. And then we did it again. And then it was red this time, but we sold it anyway, and we got bloody 40k again. And then did we do it again? No, I found a skeleton, got a little distracted. But after a few minutes looking at it, we decided to go and get another one. This one kind of looked like a Dodge Charger, but it was pretty awful. But we sold it, and we got another 40k. Then, we got another one. This one had purple underglow lights, and it didn't give us any more money. Still 40k. Then we got a Bugatti, and we only got 40k. And then we got this one. Actually, this one sounds amazing. Listen to this thing. I actually had to take... I, I really enjoyed driving this one around, just because... It sounded so good. It was better than all the other cars combined. Like, it just sounded so good. And look at the bloody thing. It's an old banger. But we sold it. 40k. So at this point, I decided, you know what? This is ridiculous. It takes me literally four minutes. Three to four minutes to do Headhunter. So I was like, and it pays more. So that's what I did. I decided to do a headhunter, and as you can see right here, I think it takes about three and a half, four minutes. The last kill actually took a while, that's why it took a little bit longer. But you can see, what is the point of doing these exotic missions when you can just do a headhunter mission that takes three to four minutes and you get paid more money? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But we got the little bugger down there anyway. And that time we made 41k. So we made a thousand more and it was bloody quicker. But I got another one anyway because I was obsessed and then we sold it and then I got another one again because I was obsessed and then I sold it. And at this point, we were at the very end and we got this absolute god-awful rendition of a Bentley Bentayga, I think it is. This has got to be one of the ugliest cars in the game. I don't know what they were thinking with this. Like, it, it is actually disgusting. So anyway, I was thinking this is our last car. At this point, no Cerberus has been around. We've done, we've sourced all 10 cars. All 10 of them. And no Cerberus. I was kind of excited because I was like, oh, spooky season. Cerberus is going to chase us. No Cerberus. And it was our last sale. This is literally our 10th car. How much money did we make? Is this worth making millions this week in GTA Online? Our survey says, boom, actually, kind of interesting. 240 grand. So you actually get a 200,000 bonus. I'm assuming usually it's a 100,000 bonus for getting all 10. So all in all... With all of the cars found, we made 600,000. And you may be thinking to yourself, 600k, that's not too bad. But I'm here to tell you, it is awful because it took like three and a half hours. Maybe more. I've lost. I'm delirious. So there you have it. It's not really worth it in my opinion. I'm not going to be doing it again. But I will have that video linked in the description. So if you want to go check it out, you can go watch it. Uh, it's a pretty funny video, to be completely honest with you. But it does explain all of the exotic exports and everything like that in much more detail. All right, next up, we have our contracts. This is the third and final way to make money with the auto shop. Now, with this, I do have a lot of videos. And I actually have a video of this coming out on Saturday that I'm going to be doing. Which will be a more in-depth walkthrough showing you the fastest, easiest way to do it. But for, the, for these contracts, what you're going to want to do is that one right there. The Union Depository Contact. Contract, I should say. So I'm going to register as a boss real quick. There we go. Started a motorcycle club. So I'm going to be... I'm, we're going to walk through this entire thing together, but it's going to be very quick. I'm going to... Like I say, I have a detailed video of this coming up on Saturday. So that's not what this video is about. This is literally just going to be showing you... Boom, boom, boom. I say boom, boom, boom. And everybody say way -ho. Way -ho. Maybe one tip per setup mission. So anyway, basically, Union Depository Contact. Yeah, let's go ahead and start it. So there's three setup missions. So basically what I'm going to do right now is show you like one tip for each of them. 
But like I say, if you want an in-depth guide, that'll be on Saturday. And then we're going to complete this thing and just show you how much money you're going to make. So elevator key is the first mission. So the best thing for this is just grab your oppressor and head straight over to the, uh, to the bank. All right, land on the roof just to make your life a little bit easier. You're going to get in a gunfight. So use whatever weapon you feel comfortable with and just take everyone out real quick. All right, once you've taken everyone out, just grab the key really quick. All right, once you grab the key, make sure you have a weapon that's going to be able to shred a lot of people. So I'm going to go for my combat machine gun mark two. Go downstairs. All right, we'll hide behind this car. Let's just mow people down. All right, almost done. Some people hiding behind cars that are annoying me. What are you doing? Oh, you're almost dead. What about you? There we go. All right, and then grab this SUV right here. All right, now at this point, it's going to say to go to the auto shop. Don't even worry about it. We're literally going to head straight towards the uh, the bank. That's exactly where we're going. So let me show you. You're going to turn here. They're going to call you here in a second. They're literally going to call you and they're going to tell you to head here anyway. So ignore the auto shop thing. All right, so we're already on our way over there before they even show the marked locations. Uh, but the one that I'm going to go to is just the fastest one to do it. It's just, there's no reason to uh, to worry about which one of these three locations. Just literally go to the first one, which is right here. All right, park it, and bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle. You can see my oppressor mark two is out there waiting for me. So we're just going to run on that, and that is the first one complete. Just like that, complete. 10,000 for doing basically nothing. Took two minutes to complete. All right, so we're going to jump into the second setup right now. But one thing I wanted to mention here real quick is if you don't have... If you don't have the union depository contract on your board, go ahead and start any of them. And once it's started, it'll kick you outside. And then just call Sasansa right away and cancel the contract. Then you can come back in and they should be up on the board. If not, repeat that process until it shows up. Okay, so vault code. Again, super easy to do. Let me show you some quick tips and then that's it. All right, now we're just going to grab our suppressor. Our suppressor. Our oppressor one more time. And then we're going to head on over towards... Head on over towards the airport before they even call us. And then just hang up as soon as they call you. Because they'll show you the location. Let's speed this up a little bit. All right, once you get to the airport, obviously just take out the police that are right next to you. And then we're just going to grab our helicopter. And then we're going to go up as high as we can right here. And then, because we don't want the police on the ground to see us. You see how the green, oh, the three, um, the three stars are flashing? We want to make sure we're high enough so that those three stars or the cops on the ground don't see us. And then we're just going to head straight towards that bank right in front of us. All right. And just like that, the three stars are gone, but it's, it's okay. We're already heading over to where we need to be. So as soon as you get up to this building right here, see this one on my left? This is where you need to be. You can see that yellow marker. Now, once you get here, you're going to go into hover mode. And then once in hover mode, you're going to use the camera that it gives you. And it's always going to be the exact same car. It is this one right here. You can actually see him sitting inside of it right there. Okay, we located him, so let's get out of this. Let's get out of our hover. We're just going to go back a little bit because we don't want him to see us. So we're just going to wait right here. So now you're just going to follow him. He's either going to go up here to one of these buildings, that building right in front of me over there, or he's going to go to the beach. Either one, it's going to be easy, so just trail him. All right, once you get to the location, you can see the bank manager is going in right there. You're just going to wait for a phone call. It should come any second. All right. Now, this one is fairly easy. We're just going to put it in hover mode again. And then we're just going to go look, see if we can find them. I'm pretty sure it's these guys right here. That was definitely a compromising photo, but it's saying it wasn't. We'll wait. There we go. That's definitely an incriminating one. And then it says, wait for her to contact you. You don't need to wait. Uh, you can literally just start flying back towards your, your auto shop. There you go. Another 10K. Back to the auto shop. And last but not least, the robbery. All right, so like I say, I have a video coming up on Saturday that's going to be way more detailed than this. And this isn't really what this video is about. It's just how much money you can make from this contract. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up here a little bit. So first thing you want to do, though, is just get to the bank. Once you get there, you're just going to pick up your vehicle that you dropped off, take it over to the actual bank. All right, once you get here, make sure you have no guns out because you don't want to trigger any alarms. Get through all the security and get down into the vault. Then you're just going to start filling up your bag full of gold. After you pick up this first stack, the alarm's going to go off. Doesn't matter. Go on over and make sure you fill your bag with the second stack over there. Here goes the alarm. There you go. Make sure you continue filling up the bag. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to go straight on up. There's a guy right here, but he's not really doing much. Now, there is a way to skip this. If you've been around my channel for a while, you'll know that you can skip this part and just... 
be on your way to the drop-off. Uh, but for this video, that's going to be on Saturday. I'm going to be putting that to the test once again. Um, so if you want to skip this part, stick around for Saturday's video. But for me, all you're going to do right now is just take out a few people. There could be some people that spawn right here. Looks like they're not doing it. Just take some people out. All right, once you get to this part, there's going to be some SWAT, I was about to say. So just take out these guys. Try not to die. And then just grab this car. Make sure you go into inventory, body armor. Make sure you're using that, uh, that body armor. It looks like for the 10-year anniversary, they've actually filled up our uh, body armor once again. That's good to know. I didn't know they were doing that. Okay, we've got the car. Now what we're going to do is just drive to the police station, which if you didn't know, is this location right here. All right, once you get to the police station right here, you're just going to get on out. Don't worry about shooting at anyone. You're just going to run and you're going to get on the roof right here. He's going to run up onto the roof. All right. He's going to continue climbing. You're just going to want to make sure you get all the way. You can see there's a helicopter right there. You now I'll fill up my armor and some snacks here again. I really want to take out that guy that's shooting at me, but it's fine. We'll get in. We'll make sure if we go to inventory, body armor again. All right. And now that's it. Now we're just heading to the drop-off location. These helicopters, they'll fall off here in a second. Just go ahead and drive straight to the yellow marker. All right, and just like that, we have flown over. You lose the cops on the way over here, so you don't need to worry about it. Flown on over, and here is the end. Just like that, hand over the gold, take the money. So this should be, what, 600 plus they take a cut. So let's see what they get this time around. So 540,000 is what you're going to get for this instead of the typical like 810,000 because they usually give us three times money. But we'll take it. We will take it. 540 grand. That is not that bad at all considering this heist only takes, like I say, like 25, 30 minutes at max. But if you don't enjoy the part where you have to go through the whole gunfight with all the SWAT, there is a way to get around that and skip that part. That'll be on Saturday. Let's head back to our auto shop real quick. And all right, guys, there it is, the auto shop, my full complete guide on how to do absolutely everything, how to make money at this place, how to take advantage of the auto shop so that you can upgrade your vehicles at a lower level. Um, so that's it. The three ways to make money. Obviously, we have the client jobs, which are the cars, which happen every 48 minutes. So you can get 100,000 every hour for that. You have the contracts. We just did the union's depository. That took about 25 minutes. So that's 510,000. So right now we're at 610,000 an hour. And last but not least, we have the exotic exports, which I don't recommend doing unless you just want to have some fun drive around looking for cars. It can be a pain though. It can take hours and hours and hours, but not that much work. I would stick to, if anything, just the client jobs and the contracts. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comment section if you have any tips or tricks for myself or anyone else that's watching this video. Uh, you can head to the comment section and see if there's any other tips people can give you. Or if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you have any questions, I will try to respond to every single one of them. And if I don't, I'm sure a great member of the community will. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys, as always, tomorrow with another video. Saturday will be the, the skip video. We'll be putting that thing to the test. Tomorrow's video, I'm sure some of you can guess what it is. <laughs> It has to be done, but it'll be tomorrow and you'll find out. So make sure you subscribe with notifications on for that. But anyway, as always, I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye.